All righty, Femi Fems. It's a great day, honey buns. Take that love vitamin. Let's take a look. I hear the word delay. Let's take a look and see what you need to know. I hear that word delay. All right, Holy Spirit, what do the films need to know, divine feminine? You need to stay grounded. Some of you all, you could be you could be dealing with some sort of delay in your life, um, a delay around a situation or some sort of circumstances. Get grounded, get level-headed so that you can think rationally, so that you can act and or respond rationally. Um, your left foot could be itching for some of you all. Also, some of you all, you could have like that psychic itch where your skin is itching, your nose is itching, you know, your face is kind of agitated. Not not bad. It's a little itch. Um, Some part of your body could be itching. The, the, the universe is trying to let you know to get grounded because there's going to be a little delay or there has been a delay, but it's still going to happen. I hear this year is still going to happen. A delay is not a deny. All right. You're still going to get it. Also, I hear take your time. Take your time. Um, I see the Ten of Wands. Don't force something or don't feel like you have to force something. Allow it to happen organically and naturally. You're still going to get the abundance. Some of you all could be some sort of uh, money, like pending. It could be something like you being emotionally fulfilled, truly in love or loving something that you do, something like that. But you will love the results that you're going to get. A delay is not a deny. All right, Divine Feminine Holy Spirit. Divine feminine. Uh, meditation is needed. Meditation. You need to go within. Meditate and put your energy and focus on love. Some of you all, it's your love life. It's still going to happen. Um, it could be something that you've been hoping. I hear that expectation, anticipation. You need to prayer, much prayer and supplication and use integrity. Um, I don't, there's, there's a message here for you not rushing, you not forcing, just be able and be, be able and willing to surrender. It's going to happen for you this year. Now, this may be a very specific message to a particular person or a specific, uh, collective of divine feminine. Holy Spirit, what's the meditation here? Yep. See, it, it's, the spirit is trying to show you something. The hangman, you may feel like you're stuck, you're in limbo, but you're on pause. Something is on, something here is being paused. The eight of swords, you know, you got to really concentrate. It could also be something around your DM. Your divine masculine is stuck. Um, it's a person, you may think a person here has left you hanging high and dry. He or she is going to make something good. It's going to get right. It's going to get better. Uh, you, you also may want to think happy thoughts, very high vibrational, high, high vibrational thoughts. Some of you also may need to take your focus off of this situation and just like surrender it, just release it. What is meant for you will never, will never pass you. Something, I feel like somebody here is stuck or something is stuck. It could also be a promotion that you have been holding for, holding out for, hoping for, wanting. Um, success is coming. Movement is coming. If this is a vehicle purchase, you need to make sure that you're dotting the I's and crossing the T's. Do not purchase this vehicle emotionally. Look at the contract, read the deal, pay attention. Don't get locked into something and then have regrets. You want to be happy about it. When God's when God gives you something, he gives it with peace and he does not give it with you know a catch 22. You got to do this, you got to do that. When it's time for this is this seems like some sort of blessing or something a person has been working on. When it's time for something to be released, it's going to happen. Unfortunately, in this situation, Something here has a major tie on you, on someone that you love or care about, or something is just in limbo. It's in suspense. It's in, you know, it's like suspended. You know how you suspend the transaction and you go back and rescan it and you, it comes right back up? You need to ponder on something so that the Holy Spirit can reveal something to you. But you will be happy. You will be more than pleasantly uh, pleased with the outcome. It's going to take some time, though. It's just taking some time. I know nobody likes to hear that, but that's just what that is here. What's the love? Um, oh, goodness. The Nine of Pentacles, the Hermit card. Yep, get quiet. Those of you all that are highly stalked, monitored, even harassed about your, you know, your journey with your twin flame or your divine counterpart, be quiet. Don't allow other people to take you off course. I feel like something may be trying to take you off course of love or off course of something that you love or something like that. 
Don't allow anyone to take you off track. Get grounded. And again, there's going to be a wait. While you're waiting, you need to examine something. You'd be examining yourself. Those of you all that's pertaining to a like a certain uh, pertaining to a certain circumstances, you need to invest in something else. Uh, invest into another part of your life those of you all that's dealing with something financially and it's in limbo right now you need to diversify something shift it around shift your perspective perspective and your make sure your perception is precise discern the situation and everybody that's involved appropriately i feel like some of you all feel pressed pressed to make a decision or you feel like you're you're, you're just I just keep hearing stuck. You're not stuck. It's just delayed. This is a divine delay. Yep, the world card. A new cycle will start something. And when it starts, you're going to be happy. The world brings about an ending because it's going to be a new beginning of happiness, peace, and joy, and wish fulfillment as well. What's the integrity card? What's the integrity card? The king of wands, very passionate. Now, some of you all, you gonna if this is love, you're going to have a choice between two people, an emperor or a king of wands, and you're going to need to choose precisely. Yep, because somebody here crying. I feel like a person here is in regrets about whatever the communication or the transaction is that has taken place. Um, some, some, somebody here is reminiscing on a transaction that took place or an outcome, it's already happened. It's like, I didn't expect this to be the outcome. This is what it is. I can't undo it, man. Um, you also have a person that's praying for you and about you and them in, in the situation. Now, who are these people in y'all energy? This King of Pentacles here, somebody's sneaky. Now, somebody's sneaky, somebody's doing something, or somebody has given you a reason not to believe in them. Some of you all have a bit of a situation here. You need to really meditate. You need to really pray. Try to cleanse yourself while, you, while you're crying. Pray, but listen to your intuition. Listen to your spirit. Your spirit, man, is trying to show you something. All right, let's close this out. The Fool card, the Nine of Cups, and the Page of Wands. There, there is something new taking place in your life. Some of you all, you're going to have to go ahead and uh, wash your hands with something is what I'm seeing. Wash your hands with it and allow something to be as it is and start with something new. A new project, a new job, a new career, because something here is preventing you to move forward. Uh, it could be an energy, it could be an attachment to you, or it could just be this is not for you in this season. Right opportunity, right person, wrong season, meaning wrong time. Others of you all, this is a clear-cut sign saying move forward. If it's meant to be, it'll be. And this is this is where this is where you have to say, I'm okay with losing something. Or I'm okay with letting something go because I know something else is going to be better. I also feel like the new thing that you may get, you may have to put a little more work into it. The Three of Pentacles here, if this is a relationship, one of you may relationship differently as far as the effort and the energy. I feel like somebody here is kind of comfortable um, or compl complacent very content in a particular place or setting of life and there's a shift that's trying to take place in your life but it's like you know it could be to a mindset that's that's what's stuck here you or this person something is meant to happen still happen this year but some of you all you cannot stop pro progressing in life to wait on something or someone to happen this is a clear message a clear sign to keep moving and to occupy. Divine Feminine. Oh, goodness. Yep, the Empress of Light. Finale. After the storm, I emerge a shiny new star. So there's been a storm. I feel like some of you all have been conflicted of letting someone go. I don't think you're letting them go. I think you're releasing them. You're releasing them to their divine will. To, to the divine will, you're releasing them to their, their choices and you're moving on with your life. Mm, this is going to hurt some of y'all because I feel like some of you all were kind of tight on, on something happening. Um, yeah, okay. 
expression. I express my intuition with self-confidence and love. Number eight, number 29, breaking down 2011. The universal midwife birth. So, and somebody, somebody is birthing something out. Some of you all, it's, it's something you're doing. And it's like that midwife. The midwife is like the mediator. So there's a mediator here helping you birth, birth something out. It, if it's a project, ability, gift, or talent, it's the Holy Spirit that's letting you know I'm helping you to push. Some of y'all in the birth position, you got to push. I birth fruitful and sacred assignments. You're on a particular assignment. It's almost like some of you all need to focus on your personal assignment. You need to push, but you need to pay attention and listen to the Holy Spirit. Others of you all, the Holy Spirit is telling you it's time to birth something else out. Birth, it, birth something else out of this journey, your twin flame journey. Your divine masculine is in limbo. He or she is stuck. They're not available right now. Providing they make the right choices is still meant to happen this year. But you cannot wait. You got to do something else. You, Some of you all may also occupy your time with another companion, another soulmate, or something like that. I'm going to do a divine counterpart or um, high-level soulmate reading next. Uh, a father of the sky, God, I release the weight of the world from my shoulders. I told you there's a release that you have to have. You got to release something or release someone. If you're holding on to something, it's beginning to be heavy, like dead weight to you. You can't hold on to something. You can't hold on to someone. This is a release. Pregnancy, new beginnings. You have something else you need to do. Get started. Stop procrastinating. Stop saying what 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 what's going to happen. Stop being so focused on the outcome. Get it started. See, something here is divinely done. You see, Saturn. Saturn is restricting someone. Also, if this is personal with you, you may want to go check Saturn in your birth birth chart. See how it's placed. Make sure there are no squares, triangles, and things like that. To know how you're being affected in life. So you'll know how to move and hopefully forecast your life a little easier. Yep. Celebration. It's going to, I told you, it's going to happen. Something, a delay is not a deny, but you're worrying and you're stressed. And what the Holy Spirit is saying, you need to release something. Some of you all may need to release an energy towards your mom or parent. I release detachments, ancestral curses, and mommy issues. Let something go offenses and everything hold it out one more time Ooh. yep thinking like you it's time for you to get associated with your 11th house people that are more like-minded like you social groups organizations friendships mutual and benef mutual and beneficial friendships some of you all just may be like a cleansing out of your association it's time for you to get with people who are more like-minded and on the same level that you're on stop operating beneath your potential mercury business be about your business you are you should be a divine feminine that's about his or her business there's also some sort of messenger some sort of communication some of you all you haven't tapped into your complete purpose is still telling you come on you know you need to study who i am in your life mercury business business owner it could also be about you traveling some of y'all got some work to do it's like a light bulb is going off the light bulb is flickering but you're not catching the complete signals or signs and mars is tell you telling you to take it by fourth stop stop making excuses because you are the reason you can move past a situation you can move past a person you can release them and you can do something else. Some of you all, you may have to have a shift from a, like a, you know, it could be a lateral move as well with a job or company, career or something like that. You may not be in a boss position. You may need to get in the passenger seat, let someone else drive, mentors, educating you, advisors, and things of that nature. There's like musical, musical chairs are happening here, shifted around. Peace and blessings, great day. We'll stop it there. Namaste.